Toby is a 100 meter sprinter and he has been working on speed, cardiovascular fitness and flexibility. Evaluate the relative importance of each of these components of fitness in terms of their impact on Toby's performance as a 100 meter sprinter. As always with nine markers, we want to be splitting our answer into three main paragraphs, each which includes a point, some explanation, and then an evaluation. Now this question, we can clearly see where how these paragraphs are gonna be focused. So we're gonna focus one paragraph on speed, one on cardiovascular fitness, and one on flexibility. And it's worth noting the word relative, so evaluate the relative importance. And that means we need to be comparing which of these is most important and which of these is least important in terms of the components of fitness. So for our first main paragraph, we can discuss speed. And for our points, we need to say what speed is. So speed is the rate at which an individual can perform a movement or cover a distance. We then need to explain this and talk about the relative importance. That's a good place to explain um, a bit more about speed. So speed is of high importance to a 100 meter sprinter and it's relatively more important than both cardiovascular fitness and flexibility. So I'm directly answering the question here by discussing that relative importance. Finally, for our AO3 evaluation and our link to performance, improving speed will have a positive impact on Toby's performance as a 100 meter runner, as his finishing time will decrease and he will have a greater chance of winning races. Toby should heavily prioritize improving his speed during his training and interval training will help achieve this. Um, so I've made some direct links to saying why speed is so important to a 100 meter runner and how it's going to improve performances. And I've also just dropped in an, a bit of knowledge from um, another area from training methods by saying that interval training is going to help with this. So I'm showing off my knowledge to the examiner. For our next paragraph, we can look at cardiovascular fitness. So cardiovascular fitness is the ability to exercise the whole body for long periods of time. So we're showing that knowledge for our AO1. We now can discuss the relative importance. So cardiovascular fitness is not very important for a 100 meter sprinter. It relates to the fitness of the heart and the lungs, and it is relatively less important than both speed and flexibility. So we do need to make sure with these nine mark questions that we're not getting tripped up and just um, sort of agreeing with everything or, or discussing the importance, for example, of each component of fitness. We have got to do a bit of thinking and think about what is important and what isn't important and use, our, and, use and show our knowledge as we do that. So for our AO3, we can add a bit more detail. So this is because a 100 meter sprint lasts for a short period of time and requires anaerobic respiration and powerful movements. Training the cardiovascular system will improve aerobic respiration, but not anaerobic respiration. However, having a base level of cardiovascular fitness might help Toby recover following races or heavy training sessions. So I'm giving some really good arguments there as to why um, cardiovascular fitness isn't very important. And I've dropped in some key terms, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. But I've also weighed up the other side of the argument and just given a, a, an idea as to why it could still just be a little bit important in terms of recovery. For our final main paragraph, we can discuss flexibility. So for AO1, it needs to show our knowledge of this component of fitness. So flexibility is the range of motion of your joints or the ability of your joints to move freely. Flexibility is quite important for a 100 meter sprinter. So we would probably say that it's relatively more important than cardiovascular fitness, but not as important as speed for a 100 meter runner. 
So again, for AO3, we go into a bit more detail. Improving flexibility won't have a direct impact on Toby's performance as a 100 meter sprinter. So what we mean by that is that being more flexible isn't really going to have a massive um, impact on the speed of a 100 meter sprinter. However, being more flexible will prevent him from picking up injuries such as hamstring or quadricep strain. So I'm showing that knowledge of injuries there as well. And staying fit and healthy will mean that he can spend more time training, which will ultimately mean that he is a faster athlete because the more you train, the better you're going to get. So again, I'm thinking outside the box here a little bit. And even though flexibility doesn't directly link to 100 meter sprit speed, it's still going to help him as an athlete because it's going to help prevent injuries.